What would you do if no one was watching? What is your deepest fantasy? I had to ask myself that question. And at first I wasn't sure. A lot of people don't know this, but I'm actually quite a private person, but I built my entire career being a public figure of living a public life. And I always thought it was unique to me that I was constantly being judged or criticized. And truth be told, I think that is for a lot of women. I've always been expected to be appropriate, to be polite, to be uh, apologetic to bend over backwards for people and I am done with that and it's my turn to be selfish for once. So I'd like you guys to meet Apricot Privé, Fleur's newest launch. She's delightfully decadent, she's sweet, she's juicy, she is woody, she is playfully provocative and undeniably chic. It's not the obvious fruity fragrance, it actually has a really obvious woodiness to it. So it's a wonderful balance of both sweet and woody. It's so, so juicy and delicious. Apricot Privé was inspired by my daydreams of being able to have a sweaty, sexy, fun summer um, where I get to flirt and have fun and be myself and just be carefree. And I mean, don't we all deserve that? So the rich top notes of pulpy apricot and velvety plum are dusted in cardamom before drifting into a bouquet of peonies and jasmine and it's grounded in a warm base of rich tonka, creamy sandalwood and striking agar wood. It was created by the master himself, Jerome Epignet, and this is what he has to say. For me, this is the bold fragrances out of all of them. I mean, this one starts as soon as you spray it. You, you enter in that creamy, edible, peach, plum uh, facet of the fragrance, you know? But right after, you get that creaminess from like almost like a, a leather, leather quality. So maybe that makes you think about Paris. And I, and I love that. It's like creamy, leathery, super luxurious. And then you go more into the deeper, darker, uh, woods like agar wood, and there is like amber piece, like uh, tonka, tonka bean, sandalwood, the creaminess again. I think it's for someone that wants to get attention. You know, for me, it's like you, you, you're gonna walk on the street with this fragrance and people will stop. So it's, it's either you wanna make a move or you wanna make people aware of you here. <laughs> I think this type of person would love to wear that. Basically me, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for me, it's like classic, elegant, sophisticated, and uh, rich. So I hope that you guys love Apricot Privé as much as I do. I am obsessed with it, and I know that you will be too. And hopefully, your summer will be as juicy as mine, but let's keep that between us.